strongly encourage you to join this fine organization and maintain your ties with Douglas College and with your fellow graduates. Please take a few moments to stop by your alumni association's table at the concourse to pick up your uh, alumni card. On a personal note, though, I joined Douglas College just a few short months ago. And so today's ceremony. members of the board, faculty, guests, and fellow graduates. I am honored to speak today on behalf of your graduating class. Today is a day for us to be thankful, a day for us to be inspired, and a day for us to celebrate the accomplishments, however big or small, that each of us have made. They call these celebrations commencement ceremonies for a good reason. Graduation is not the end, it is the beginning. However, before we look forward to the future, let us take a moment to reflect on our experiences here. Each of us came to Douglas College for different reasons, but we were all compelled by our dedication to helping people. Some of us already knew what careers we wanted to pursue. Some of us came to explore to find our passion. Whatever the reason you started your journey, I congratulate you for taking that leap and sticking through it. I never imagined myself standing here today, graduating from high school young and naive, I envisioned four years of university, and then off to the undefined, mysterious real world. Near the end of my undergraduate degree, I stumbled across an opportunity to work with young children diagnosed with autism. I immersed myself in the job, and it soon became my passion. Before I knew it, my part-time job had become my career. Thirsty for more knowledge and determined to become a better practitioner, I was thrilled to discover the debut of a Disability and Applied Behavior Analysis program. I am grateful for the opportunity to have participated in such a practical program, a program that has positively affected my life and given me the opportunity to evoke change in the lives of others. As Mark Twain once said, never let school get in the way of your education. Douglas College has allowed me to do just that. I have been able to further my education while continuing to work full time. It is such a satisfying experience to be able to take the tools I have gained in the classroom and apply them immediately in the real world. I can come to class every week and have access to an expert to help me excel in my chosen industry. This type of education and environment is so unique and I know it will be an integral part of my success. The best part is, my education isn't limited to my success. It will be marked by the success and achievements of all the children I'm able to help as a result of my, here, my time here. Despite our specific academic backgrounds, we have all acquired the theoretical foundation to change a life. We have the discipline to learn before we venture to change. We have the wisdom to apply our knowledge with discussion, and the humility to collaborate and achieve a greater whole. We have continual access to impact. Now, we have the skills to learn, the aptitude to succeed, and the abilities and creativity to make a difference. Somewhere along the way, all of us have had that teacher who has inspired us with their passion and enthusiasm for their fields and their involvement and commitment to their students. I am fortunate to not only have one, but two of those teachers here. Nicholas Watkins and Bruce Hound, I sincerely thank you for mentoring us, challenging us, and stimulating us. You have taught us to choose our beliefs and principles through the lens of rational thought. You have taught us that a good dose of skepticism is absolutely essential. Not only did you provide us with a solid intellectual grounding for our careers, you have shared your practical experiences with us, and that is invaluable. Thank you for taking a group of people from such diverse backgrounds and inspiring each of us to do our jobs to the very best of our abilities. Thank you for creating a safe learning environment in which we were able to take chances with our thinking. Thank you for leaving more questions than answers in our minds long after the allotted hour for asking them was over. Thank you for then opening your doors to us, both literally and figuratively, so we can continue to ask those questions. Thank you for always asking us, what do you think? 
The intellectual growth and exploration that we've all achieved here is also attributed to the diversity of individuals that each of us have been surrounded by. Learning from peers from such different background has been enabled us to broaden our perspectives. I recently learned that a good social support network consists of three things. You need to have someone you can have fun with, someone that you can problem solve with, and someone who believes in you. Our friends and families have all earned a part in today's celebrations. You're the foundation for all our success, and we must thank you for the endless support, encouragement, and understanding. I'm so grateful for my friends and family who have had fun with me, helped me work through my challenges, and most importantly, believed in me. So graduates, today we may be wearing gowns and we may boast degrees. We can celebrate today, but we have not finished what we have begun. This is still a commencement ceremony. We still have our whole lives to apply the wisdom and passion we cultivated during our time here. We will have failed if in five years, 10 years, 20 years, wherever we are, whatever we do, whatever we have forged, if we don't stir in our sleep and reach out for a book, an idea, and inspiration. We will have failed if we have not been corrupted by an intrinsic longing for knowledge. So let this day be proof. We are humble, we are empowered, we're seeking for more. Congratulations.